Most of you know, I've been in training for years. Back in my corporate days, I was working with some executives for a product launch. We were using Articulate for narrated PowerPoint presentations we were going to roll out to the field. You've probably seen this type of e-learning. It's a, it's a narrated PowerPoint deck with some interactivity and a test at the end for compliance tracking. You know, pretty normal corporate stuff, right? Well, I needed to get these three executives to record their section of the presentation. Now, they each had their own part of the presentation. The first executive was from engineering. Now, not quite the pocket protector crowd, but not far from it. He was shorter with thinning hair and kind of a pasty complexion. You know, like, who am I to talk, right? His presentation is probably exactly like you'd expect. He talked right through all the technical details. It was the driest thing I, I think I've ever heard. I mean, zero passion. Now, the second executive was from marketing. He was your ideal SME to work with. He was totally prepared. He had written a script, and when it was time to record, he read right through it. He had pacing, enthusiasm, voice inflection. This was just, it was just spot on. There was just something that was missing, though. I, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Now, the third executive was from operations. He was your typical get it done kind of guy. He was a big Irish fellow with a softer voice, but a lot of presence. When he started to record, he stumbled over his words and God, he couldn't get a message out to save his life. Now he knew his superiors would be listening to this. He knew a thousand people in the field would be listening to this. I mean, it was a pretty high profile launch and man, he was struggling. The two other guys had to leave. I mean, it was getting kind of painful to watch a peer suffer like this. He was getting all red in the face, and finally it just happened. I mean, the guy just blew up. There were F-bombs started flying, GD bombs were going everywhere. I mean, he was livid. As I'm pulling him back from the ledge of the first floor window, I said, Bob, relax. The best orators speak from the heart. Forget about all this process crap. Tell me why you believe in this. Tell me why it matters to the listeners. Look at me and just speak from your heart. As he talked to me, he still had a few ums and ahs, but you know what? I can edit that out. What I can't do is edit in passion. I remember when we played this back to a room of about 75 people that were on the launch team before it went to the field, as they listened to the pre-recorded section of the three speakers, his delivery was by far and away the best. You see, his voice was the most authentic, the most real. He had spoken from the heart, and in the end, he was the most influential, not because he had the perfect delivery, but because he had passion. I remember catching his eye from across the room. We just sort of looked at each other, nodded, and smiled. What's your story? Are you too tangled up on the words? Are you comfortable enough speaking from the heart to persuade your listeners and move your audience?